Hey guys, well, as you can see, these Depot P36 headlights on my BMW E36 are extremely bright, which is awesome. But the problem is, at nighttime, you can't have these on at nighttime. They are way too bright. So, what I'm gonna show you in this video is how to make these automatically dim when you turn your lights on to a point where you can still have halos at nighttime. Check it out, it's all done. Uh, see how it looks. I'm gonna go turn the lights on. There you go, see how nicely they dim? And when you turn your lights off, they go back on. And when you turn your ignition off, they turn off completely. So I have finished installing these. Everything worked out perfect. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna take you into the past when I first started installing all this. And this is gonna be an extremely detailed video. No wires gonna go unturned. I'll show you exactly how to do this. Let me take you into the past right now. All right, we are in the past. I haven't put the lights on yet. There they are. Um, so I'm hooking these up so they dim. Obviously it worked because you've already seen that in the video. Um, okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is a dimmer like this. I think this was like $20. I got it off Amazon. You can get them on eBay. Um, so this is called a PWM dimmer. It has to be a PWM dimmer in order to dim LED bulbs. Otherwise, LED bulbs cannot be dimmed. Um, you can get a different one, but you can find this one on eBay. Uh, just type in PWM 12 volt dimmer, right? So there it is, DC direct current, like car battery. 12 volts all the way to 24 volts. So we got 12 volts, so that's good. And 30 amps should be able to handle these. I wouldn't go anything less than 30 amps. So there it is, you need one of these. It's pretty straightforward, so you got a positive and a negative going into it, right? And then, then you would have a positive and a negative coming out of it, going to your halos, all of them, right? The only problem is, guys, this is where it gets a little bit complicated, is the way these halos are hooked up is there's a positive wire that comes out. See, there it is. This goes to the halos. So, like, there's only one wire. And then the rest of them, see, you have two plugs, so the halos get their ground, like they're negative from these two brown wires, get it? So as soon as you plug these in, the halos have a negative and then you would touch this to a positive and they, they turn on, right? And then you disconnect it from a positive and they turn off. So obviously uh, there's a little problem with that. That wouldn't work in our case because the positive and the negative have to go in and then the positive and the negative have to come out. So. If you set this to like half dimmed, it's also gonna it's also gonna dim your uh, running lights, right? So what we have to do is on the back of this, it's pretty straightforward. I will explain all this very well. See, I took these two covers off on this one. See, and now you can see. So here, inside of here, see, there is your controller for your halos. See, that goes to one halo, that goes to the other halo. And then you have a positive and a negative going in, see? So what you have to do, guys, is we're gonna have to um, cut one of these wires. That's the only way. So we're gonna cut, the brown wire here is the negative, the blue wire is the positive, and here, same thing, right? So red is positive, um, and black is negative, and here, brown is negative and blue is positive makes sense so yeah the problem is we can't have the ground be shared with the high beams and the running lights so that's what you got to do guys um nothing to it so i'm gonna grab some scissors and i'm gonna cut this right now see just like this you grab it we'll give it some some room because we're gonna have to attach a wire to it so you cut this don't be scared you're gonna have to do it. Okay, so this we're gonna strip so we can hook into it. This ground here, we're gonna put tape around it and just put it away, we no longer need it. Okay, so I did exactly what I said I was gonna do. See, there is that wire, it's taped up. This is just a ground, it can just sit in there, no worries. 
and then we have the ground is separated from the other lights now uh just really quickly i don't want you to get lost so i'll explain this one more time a little bit better it's always better to over explain than to under explain right so if i hook up um well let me hook this up for you okay so i am okay so i'm working on the other light not the one i cut the other one just to show you how this works so here's your two plugs right so i have a parts car out of the parts car i cut these out so like this is where you would plug your lights in right so you plug in one uh there's two little lines on one two little lines so you plug it in right and then the other one there's one little line there and there's one little line there so you plug that in right so now the brown wire see they both have this has a brown wire and this has a brown wire those are your grounds and then the other two are the positives so if you hook this up like your high beam turns on if you hook this up your low beam turns on to a positive or the other way around whatever it is it doesn't matter anyways so see i got a wire hooked up here and i'm going to click this wire onto the negative on a car battery which i have right here check it out see so now we have a ground going into the light through these two plugs i just have it hooked up well I'll just disconnect it let me quickly hook it up okay sorry for whatever camera work but if you want to do this you're gonna to have to watch this haha -ha. okay so we got the ground hooked up right so now all i need to do see it's hooked up to the brown is if i take this wire and touch it to the positive on the battery geez i wasn't prepared for this hang on okay so if i touch this the halos will turn on. You want to see? I'll show you right now. Check it out. See? Maximum brightness. Halos are on. These are incredible lights, by the way, guys. Disconnect it. See? So that's all you would do is hook up this to a positive. Okay. So now you understand. So what we need to do is we need to make it so the ground for the halos isn't coming off of these brown wires that's the only way we're going to be able to make the dimmer work right okay so now back to this one so here is the negative we disconnected it because it goes through there and it comes out and it connects to the browns on this plug see the brown there and the brown there it connects to both of them so we disconnected it from that and this blue wire it goes in there it comes out through here see and it goes into a red wire and then the red wire goes in there and it eventually turns into this gray wire so this is the positive for the halos um like this wire is the same wire as this red one here just loops around goes around so we're gonna leave the positive alone the positive is good so now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna grab another wire you should use a black wire but i don't have one and we're gonna twist this together with this get it and tape it up so i'm gonna do that right now okay so there it is so i got it hooked up see so this one is the black one going into the little box going to the halos so i got a negative wire here and i got a positive wire here for the halos completely separated from these plugs so these are strictly controlling the high beam and the low beam uh and the ground from these is no longer connected to the halos so now if i want to turn the halos on I got to hook up this to the negative, right? And this to the positive on the battery. Let's try it out. Okay, I got my negative, which should be black. I'm going to put black tape on it later, but I'll remember because I'm doing this. Negative and then positive. Boom, look at that. See that? So that's what you want, guys. So now it's disconnected from the other lights. So now, just for fun, uh, we're going to hook this up through the dimmer just so you uh, can follow along so i'm going to hook it up through this dimmer actually guys before i hook it up to the dimmer just one other thing so obviously we need to run this wire out of the light so what i'm going to do is i'm going to this is the cover for this side right so i'm going to just drill a tiny hole right in the top corner right right there drill a little hole and then i'm going to tuck this wire in like so Get it and just have it coming out the hole and you can even put a little bit of silicone around it so it's like airtight or whatever. 
So I'm just gonna quickly do that and put both these covers back on. And then I'm gonna have my negative coming out of the light, you know, the proper way or whatever. And then the positive. That's what I'm doing right now. All right, guys, check it out. So I drilled a little hole and it was basically tight, see? So I got my negative coming out. I got my positive coming out for just the halos. That looks nice. Yes, you gotta cut wires. Yes, you gotta drill a hole. But I mean, if you got some other way, do it your own way. Do everything at your own risk, by the way, but this will for sure work. Okay, so now we are gonna hook this up through the dimmer just so you understand how the dimmer works. Um, so we're gonna, on the dimmer here, right? So you got out, in. So on the inside, like, so directly from the battery, you would put your negative in this one, your positive into this one, like to test it, obviously. Um, negative, positive from the battery going in. And then here you're gonna have your negative or your positive and your negative, which is these two wires we just made, right? Going directly into the light. So I'm gonna hook that up right now and I'll show you how this dimmer works. Okay, so I hooked it up just the way I said I was gonna hook it up. I got the two coming in from the going in from the battery and then I got the other two going to the light. So now check it out. When I spin the dimmer switch, see these dim. So you can have them. The camera doesn't really pick it up that good, but see they're dim now and look, I can make them really, really bright. These are so bright, you can't even look at them. They're incredibly nice, right? So then you can dim them. So you're not gonna dim them every time you turn your lights on. We're gonna hook this up so like you can set your dimmer at like half, right? So like, let's set it right there, right there. So that's, you can see them at nighttime, but they're not gonna blind anybody. So that's perfect, see? I got them set at that amount. So the way we're gonna hook this up is when you turn your lights on, right? You pull your lights to have your lights on. Um, the halos are gonna run through the dimmer just the way it's hooked up now. And then when you turn your lights off, the dimmer is gonna get bypassed. So you don't ever see the dimmer or anything. It's just gonna be under the hood. The dimmer is gonna get bypassed and then the halos are gonna get full 12 volts, like not through the dimmer. You get it? So you guys understand this now, pretty straightforward. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna disconnect all this. I'm gonna do the exact same process to the other light. And then I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna install both these lights into the car. And once I have them installed, I'll see you guys in a few minutes and I will show you the rest of the electrical hookup. Okay, so I got the one light on. Um, this isn't really about how to put them in, but I might as well cover one little thing here. First of all, if you pull your bumper off, it's gonna make your life a lot easier because it's really hard to get to these, right? You can put an eight mil on the bottom of it, see? And you can like prevent it from spinning and you can adjust the height of this one and this one. So what you do is you, you slide your light in and then once the light's in, you put the blinker on, you line the little hole up and then you can kind of figure out where the light's gonna be by adjusting these. You gotta have a good space so your hood doesn't hit it when you close it, so it doesn't break the glass. So you need lots and lots of adjustments to get these on right. Okay, I'm gonna get this other side on Put the bumper back on, which was very easy to take off. Two bolts here, two bolts here under the trim, and just uh, have to disconnect this from it. It just slid right off. Pretty straightforward. Disconnect your battery when you take the bumper off so the airbag doesn't go off. It shouldn't, but I don't know, maybe you're a different model, has a different setup or something. Anyways, okay, I'm putting this together. Okay guys, so I got them installed. So now before you move on, don't be the guy driving around blinding, blinding everybody. So there is adjustments on these. See right here, uh, let me show you. So if you screw this in and this in, you could use an Allen key or a Phillips head screwdriver. You gotta be careful, be gentle with it, it's plastic. Uh, so as you're screwing those in, it lowers the light, get it? Like if one's higher than the other. Um, you basically grab a measuring tape, right? You measure to the center of the light from the ground. Can you see that, right? And then you go over here, and you basically want the same measurement. You get what I'm saying? Maybe a little bit lower, that way for sure you're not blinding people, but you can really see, like I don't have the best, biggest garage here, but 
So get that done, make sure you're not blinding people on the road. And once I'm done doing that, which will be in a few minutes, we're gonna get hooking up of the halos. All right, the front end is on. It looks incredible. If you like those things there, I got a video on those. Um, just subscribe to my channel, then you can find cool videos. Okay, so now we have a light installed and on each light we have two wires coming out, a positive and a negative. On this side we have a negative and a positive, exact same thing. If you hook one up to the body of the car, which is the negative, right? Not paint, like you have to drill a hole and put a connector. We'll get to all that. And put this one on a positive, the halos will light up. Pretty straightforward. Um, you understand that now, right? Okay, so now what we need to do, guys, is we need to find a positive that will only be giving positive power when the ignition is on. So like when the car is basically running. So I went into the fuse box right in here and I played around with a few of these. Um, so anyways, up here, this is for the cruise control, this one here. This is the one we're gonna use right here. The last top one. I mean, you could use another one. It doesn't really matter which one you use. Um, maybe your car is a little different, but what you need to do is get yourself a voltmeter like this, right? Pretty straightforward. You could also use uh, just a light bulb with two wires coming out of it. Um, they will both do the same thing. Okay, so just to simplify this video, I am using a tester light bulb um, instead of the voltmeter. So anyways, I got one end of it hooked up to uh, right here. See, that way it's getting a negative, a ground as they call it, from the body of the car. So I got a negative, then I got the wire running. I got it hooked up to one side of the light bulb and then the other side of the light bulb. So the ignition on the car is off right now. The car is completely turned off. So you're looking for a fuse that's not charged up when the ignition is off. So that's no good. See what I mean? So you can go through them. They're exposed up top. So you don't have to pull them out. There we go. See that one would work. Okay, this one here up top. And we're gonna use this one. So this is, I believe it's for the cruise control. So this one is perfect. So with the ignition off, see there's no power which is what we want because that's what's going to turn the halos on and then as soon as we turn the key let's try it out all right the key is on all the way like the car is turned on let's see if this has power now at this last fuse there we go okay just one more time so now well it's yeah there we go see Okay, and if we turn it off, just quickly. So that's what you need to find, is a good spot like that. So that way when the car is on, it doesn't matter if your lights are on or off, you want your halos to be on anytime your car is running. Okay, so there it is, we have found it. So now what you wanna do is you wanna pull that fuse out, just like this. And you wanna figure out which side of it uh, it's charged up and which side isn't, right? Like see how there's two metal connectors. So we're gonna turn the ignition on one more time. You get what I'm saying? Okay, the car is turned on. Now we're gonna take your test bulb and you see one of these will have power and one of these won't because the fuse is taken up, right? The power goes through the fuse. So we need to figure out which one has power okay so that side see has power and the other side doesn't which is right there is where we're going to hook into get it so that way our uh positive coming on when the ignition is on is going through that fuse that was in here this one here get it so that's what we are doing so i'm gonna set this up and show you what i'm doing 
Okay, so I got a wire. You're gonna need a wire. And the same thickness of this wire, I got a little drill bit here. And right over here, see there's a nice juicy spot. Uh, you're gonna drill a little hole. You want it low enough so it doesn't, the cover doesn't affect it. So figure out where it's gotta be. That is it. So now we're gonna run our wire through that hole, which will basically make it air, like watertight. Okay, so we got the wire going in through the little hole. See, it's got it going like this. So now what you wanna do on the side uh, where there is no power, right? Like that one had power. This one didn't, so it goes through the fuse. That way you don't need to put another fuse on this wire because this fuse will be the fuse for it. Um, you're just gonna stick this in, right? I'm gonna, can I get this on camera? Anyway, so you stick that in, in there, right? Make sure that, you know, it's good. You stick that in, like so. I'm gonna need both my hands here, but you stick that in, right? And then you grab your fuse and you put your fuse back in, get it? So that way, electricity comes out that side, goes through the fuse, and it's gonna go into this wire when the ignition is turned on. Right now the ignition is turned off. Um, you're not gonna use this wire to charge up your halos. You're only gonna use it to charge up an electromagnet inside of a relay, which I will explain further on in this video, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna nicely hook that up and I'm gonna make sure that one of these little wires doesn't bypass the fuse you get what i'm saying i'm going to make sure it's all in there and then i'm going to plug that in and then we have a good charged up wire uh when the ignition is on okay i'm doing that now okay so i got it see i got it like this i'll be able to plug it in just want it in case you're struggling with it okay i'm going to plug that in off camera because i need my hands for this okay so there it is see just like i said totally worked um so now we can put our cover on, right? And we are done at the fuse box, guys. We're not gonna have to go in here again. So anyways, I'm gonna put that back on and we're gonna move on. Okay, we're moving on to the next phase of this. So we got our switchable power wire. Uh, when the ignition turns on, right? This gets power when the ignition's off. This doesn't get power. We have our negative and our positive going to our halos. Negative, positive going to our halos, right? Now we're gonna hook up a third wire uh, right here. This is the equivalent of a positive on a car battery. In this particular car, the car battery's in the trunk, but if you ever wanted to give this car a boost, you hook up the positive right here, right? So inside of there, see? This is from the old lights. Somebody also had halos and they hooked into that. There's a cover here, this cover pops off. See, and there's like a screw in there. I'm gonna try to show you with my phone here. Well, anyways, so this is attached to the positive. This always, always has a positive in it all the time. I'm gonna take the tape off right now. So remember, this is a live wire. So in order to hook into this, you're gonna have to disconnect your battery in the back which uh, I've already done. So now what I'm gonna do is, since I already have a wire attached there, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I'm gonna strip this. And the next thing you wanna do is get yourself an inline fuse like this. And I'm gonna hook up this to that wire just like that, twist it together and put electrical tape on it. And then I'm gonna have a constant positive that's always, always there. This is what's gonna power the halos, guys. You need a good, solid positive. You can't uh, power, power the halos with this because then uh, this is already devoted to something else in there. This will only turn on the relay. I will get to that. Just follow these steps and you will be able to do this, right? So I'm gonna hook this up to that, just like that. All right, people, so now we need to pick a location for our dimmer. I'm thinking somewhere here. We're also gonna need two relays. Uh, they might look like this. I haven't got that far yet. 
they're going to be in this area, right? So all our connections are going to be in this spot. You can put them wherever you want, but I think that's a good spot. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to drag all the wires over, right? So we got our positive coming from the battery, constant positive. I'm going to extend it. I'm nicely going to run it maybe underneath this and I'm going to have it somewhere here. I'm also going to run both the positive and the negative that goes to the halo. Same thing. I'm nicely, I'm going to extend these nicely going to run them to this area. And then these two for this halo, well, they're already in the, this area. So we're good there. And then we have our switchable positive with the ignition. Uh, when the ignition turns on positive, when the ignition is off, nothing, right? So we're going to get all these wires to this area. So far, guys, I'm sure you're following along. I'm probably even over explaining this, but like I said, it's better to over explain than to under explain. Give me a thumbs up. Okay, so off camera, I'm going to do all that and then I'll show you everything. Okay, so I have ran all the wires. So I got the positive wire running through here. And see, there it is. Positive battery. So there it is. Um, I took the fuse out and I hooked the battery back up. So without the fuse, that wire has no power in it. Then I took the negative and the positive from this light. I also ran them this way. And I took the negative and the positive from this light and I connected them together. See, so I got like uh, two negatives from like one from that light, one from that light right here. See, and I labeled it lead negative. And then I have the positive, right? The positive from that light and the positive from that light. I got them running. Same thing, I connected them together. See? Um, and I got it like this at the end and the negative, same thing. Two of them going in and they're twisted together. So that's what I did there. And then we have our uh, switchable positive. So the remote wire, right? When you turn your ignition on, this gets a positive. So I got remote positive guys. So I can run all my relays and my dimmer in this area. Okay, let's move on to Relays guys, you're gonna need two relays for this process and I'll show you what type right now. Okay, so I just went to the junkyard and I just grabbed some relays. These two are out of like a Ford truck. Uh, this was in a Scion, I believe. Um, so this is a five prong relay, one, two, three, four, five. So is this one, so is this one. Lots and lots and lots of cars, even Mercedes, like they have the exact same configuration on these. There is different ones, so you have to find one with uh, this type of diagram. But like I said, lots and lots of these are the same. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use, I guess this one because you can see it good. So this is actually very simple. Don't be scared, guys. So basically what a relay is. It's just a switch, that's all it is. It's just an electric switch powered by electricity, right? So this is how it works. Right here, this is an electromagnet, right? See this thing? Like this is a diagram of these. So these little numbers, see each number, um, sorry, I'm trying to get this visible here. So each number at the bottom here, see that they're labeled. So like uh, 87A, 86, 87, 85, right? Uh, 30. So this is 87A, sorry. But you get it? So that's labeled. There's like a diagram of, um, hang on a second. Okay, so um, I'm getting a glare on this one. So I'll use this one. It's the exact same configuration, right? So this right here is an electromagnet, right? So what it does is um, you hook up like a negative, and a positive to this, and that will electrify the electromagnet. And what that will do is it will take this little knobby here, see, like, and it will slide it over. So it'll go from 87A, it'll go click to 87. You get what I'm saying? So like, for example, you would run 
your positive from the battery, right, into 30, right? So this wire here, um, right here, right? So you're gonna run that into 30. And what happens then is, like let's say you hooked up your halos to 87, right? Um, so the positive goes in from through 30, right? And then you hook up your halos to 87, like the positive go into the halos. And then, uh, you, you know, you hook up a negative to this and the other positive, right? Like this positive here, uh, that's switchable, right? You're gonna hook that up to uh, the other side of the electromagnet. So right here, right? To 86. So the second you turn your key, right? This is gonna click over, click. And now guess what? Your halos turn on, get it? So that's how these work. And then the second you turn your key off, this loses electricity, like it's not getting a positive anymore. The electromagnet will just reverse back and this will just click back, turning off your halos. Get it? So this is a switch. That's all it is, right? So you hook up uh, your positive to your halos there. So anyways, pretty, pretty straightforward. I mean, you get it now, right? And the reason they have another prong here is because what you could do is you could use it in a different way, right? Like you could have a positive going in here. Then you could have like your halos hooked up, for example, to this one. Um, and then when you energize this, it would turn it off. So it's like you can use it the other way around. If that makes sense, guys. Anyways, so these are all the same. So I got two of them that I'm going to use. And I'm going to use this diagram because it's more visible. But see, they're exactly the same thing. Okay, let's move on. Okay, guys, I mean... This isn't hard. Like to me, this is like a video game where I'm trying to figure something out. Okay, next, we need four ground wires. So I got these little circle things I put on the ends, right? Uh, ground as in negative. We need a negative for, that's gonna run through the box that's gonna dim the lights because the box dims the negative, not the positive. I will get to that. You need uh, a ground for each relay. We're gonna have two relays. And then you need another ground, which will be a, a ground that doesn't run through the box, the dimming box. That one will go directly um, to the lights, to the halos, bypassing the dimmer box through a relay. I will get to it. Don't worry, guys. So I made three of these. You need a very good solid ground, guys. So what I'm doing is right here, there's a little hole. You could drill a hole. You wanna connect these to the body of the, of the car, right? I'm gonna grab a grinder and I'm just gonna take off just a little bit here because electricity doesn't travel through paint. So I'm gonna just grind the paint off. And then I'm gonna grab a nut and a bolt, right? I'm gonna put that in and I'm gonna attach um, my three grounds, but I'm going to do it underneath. Uh, the current will travel through the bolt as long as the top is scraped nice. And I'm going to attach all three and then I'll have three grounds. I'm not going to label the grounds because uh, everything else is labeled. So I know that the four grounds are not labeled. So I'm going to do that right now off camera, guys. Um, stay with me. And this is going to be so cool, guys. We'll be able to turn on the lights, make these dim. It's gonna be great. Okay, guys, I mean, yeah, this is a little hard to record, but don't worry, we got this. Okay, I got my four ground wires right there, connected to the bolt underneath. So we got four ground wires. Everything else is the same way it was. So now we are gonna grab our relay, guys, and we're gonna start hooking this up. So to our relay, there it is. Um, so we're going to hook up, like, first of all, we need the electromagnet to click on. See, so there it is. So 85 and 86, right? So we're going to hook up a negative to 86, one of those negatives, right? So that electromagnet has a negative. And then we're going to hook up the positive coming out of the fuse box. So when we click our ignition on, right? 
uh, that will be hooked up to 85, get it? So that way, the second we turn our ignition on, this little uh, rod's gonna go from 87A to 87, make sense? So what we're gonna do is, so I'm gonna hook up those two just the way I said, and then to 30, so down here, uh, we're gonna hook up the positive coming from the battery, get it? That's where that's going. The positive going from the battery is gonna go to 30, right? So that way, when we turn our key uh, and the car is on, this is gonna click over and 87 is gonna get charged up, which for now we're not gonna hook up anything to it, but if we hooked up that to the positive on the halos, then the halos would turn on. And if we weren't doing the whole dimmer switch, that's how you hook these up. That way they have their own circuit that they're running off of. They're not, you're not stealing power from like your windshield wipers or something. This little electromagnet uses very, very tiny amount of electricity. So you can hook that into like a uh, cruise control or something and it's not gonna affect anything. But you can't run four high power halos off of like your windshield wiper circuit or your power steering circuit. You need it, your own circuit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that just the way I said I would. If you follow these steps, this will totally work. Okay, so I got that hooked up just the way I said I was gonna hook it up, um, right? So here it is. So the negatives, I got them exposed like that. See, in the positives, I use the shrink wrap to cover them as much as I can. We're gonna have to like put electrical tape on this whole thing after so you know it doesn't hit the body of the car and ground out. But anyways, so now what we're gonna do is 87. We're gonna hook up um, a wire to 87, which I have just made off camera. See, just a little wire like this, like that on one side. Uh, it's got a plug-in on the other side, right? So I'm gonna plug that into 87, and then that way, when we turn our ignition on, this is gonna have electricity flowing from directly from the battery on its own circuit, right? So I'm gonna plug that into 87, and then this side of it um, onto our dimmer switch here where it says in. See, like, so negative in here, positive in here, and then positive out, negative out. So I'm gonna put the other end of it, I'm gonna hook it up right into this positive in, right? Get it? Because that's the positive going into the dimmer switch. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna do that right now off camera. Okay, so I got that hooked up just the way I said I was gonna have it hooked up. So now you can wrap this in electrical tape and you can like zip tie it over here in the corner, right? So it just looks like some kind of factory thing. I'm gonna attach this guy right over here like this. Obviously don't drill through because that's where your tire is. But uh, I'm just gonna use like PL and just glue it on like this, right? So I got the positive going in guys. So this switch works in a funny way because when you start using the dimming function, right? So like the two positives, right? Like from this prong to this prong, these basically, this basically just goes right through. It doesn't matter how much you dim or undim this, you get full voltage going from this positive to this positive. It doesn't matter, even if you have this, this off all the way, it still travels all the way through without any restriction, get it? Uh, the two positives, like the positive going in and the positive going on, uh, out. But the negative is different. So the negative goes in, so you got 12 volts going in, right? And then when it comes out on the other side, that's what changes, that's what pulsates it for it to uh, dim, right? It's the negative wire, not the positive wire. So for now, all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our positive wire, right? This one here that goes to the LEDs both LEDs. See, there's the one positive and the other positive. So the positive for this LED and the positive for that LED. We can just attach this uh, right to this out positive. See, it says uh, positive volt out. So we can hook that one up directly to that and that will be that. The, the grounds, like the negatives, is what we're gonna have to run through another relay to control the lights to dim when the headlights are on. I will get to that. Okay, let me hook that up right now. 
All right, so I did what I said I was gonna do. See, that looks nice there. And I mean, later I can like tuck all this in and tape it up or whatever, but that's not what this video is about. It's not about prettiness. It's about how to hook this up. Okay, so I got, you know, positive going in, right? That's controlled by all this. And then I have the positive going out and that goes to the positive in there and the positive in the other light. So both um, lights have a positive. So now we have to play around with the negatives because what we want, like this is the negative going into the LED, right? If we just hook this up here, right? And hook up one of these negatives to there and then turn our car on. Yes, the halos will turn on, but it will be running through the dimmer, right? So we have to figure out a way to make it so when we turn the lights on, then it's running through the dimmer, but when the lights are off, uh, then it's not running through the dimmer. And in order to do that, guys, we need another relay, a five prong relay, just like the other one. And what we're gonna do with this relay, guys, is uh, we're gonna charge up the uh, electromagnet. So this can switch back and forth, right? Um, so we're gonna hook up a negative. So one of these negatives that we made, I'm gonna plug it in to 86 and then to 85. What we're gonna have to do, guys, is we're gonna have to hook up a positive to it, but the positive that we're gonna hook up is like, you know your daytime running lights? So like when you turn your lights on and just to drive on the road, not your high beams. So we're gonna hook it up to the positive, not from the halo, but to the positive from that light bulb. So we're gonna go back here um, and we're gonna find it wherever it is right here see and yes so the brown one is negative i just have to figure out which one's the high beam and which one's the low beam that will be easy i will just turn on the lights and unhook one of them and see if the light turns off so we're gonna have to splice into not the brown wire but into the positive wire and hook that up to the second relay to this relay so that way when the, well, like when the car is on and then you turn your lights on, it will click this thing from 87A to 87. And then that, I'll show you how to hook it up once we get the, past that point. But we'll have basically a relay that's controlled by your running lights. Uh, not daytime running lights, like nighttime lights. Okay. So I'm gonna figure out which bulb it is and I will show you how I splice into it and all that. I'm gonna do this right now. Okay, so I figured it out. It is the gray one that controls the, this light, right? So we have to splice into the yellow wire. So I'm just gonna cut some of this back, cut the wire, get it, and then twist a, a wire into it. So there's one connected to it and then hook it back up. Uh, I think I'm explaining that good. I mean, you can't be scared to cut wires and stuff. Like, there's no way to do this without cutting wires. As long as you put everything back nice, uh, it's not gonna be an issue. Anyways, okay, so off camera, I'm gonna hook that up. Okay, so I got everything hooked up the way I said I was gonna hook it up. So I spliced into the yellow wire, as you can see. So there it is, see, so I got another wire. Yes, I'm gonna get electrical tape and clean all this up but I'm spliced into it. So what I did is this uh, positive, right? So when you turn your lights on, this positive electricity will travel into the relay. And on the relay, I hooked it up to, um, let me show you on the diagram here. So I hooked it up to 85. So it's on one side of the electromagnet. And then to 86, I just hooked up a ground wire. So there it is. And that wire just travels and it's hooked up to this bolt. So now what we have, guys, is uh, when the ignition is on, right, the halos are going to turn on. But, well, not yet, but they will. And then when we turn our lights on, then this relay, uh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. It fell in behind here. So this relay, right, when the lights turn on, 
um, this will charge up, switching uh, the prong, right, from 87A to 87. And then when you turn your lights off, it's gonna go back to 87A, get it? So we have one, two, three connectors left that we have to play around with to make this work. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Just give me a sec to figure it out myself. Okay, I thought about it for like two minutes. I got this guys. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so now the negative going, like the negatives for the halos. So there's a negative from a halo there and a negative from a halo there. See, I got those running. I combined the wire into one, one wire. So we gotta put a connector on this and we're gonna hook this up into a relay and we're hooking it into uh, 30. We're gonna hook it into 30, get it? So we're kind of going backwards right now, but so that way uh, we'll hook it into 30 and then the lights will have um, a ground, right? Like a negative either going through the box or not going through the box. It's not focusing very good, there we go, right? Okay, so I'm gonna hook that one into 30 and then we'll move on to the other two and I'll show you hook it up, how to hook it up to that box. Okay guys, things are starting to look good here. Um, I just realized, remember when we made four ground wires to the bolt? We actually only needed three, so I'm gonna have to get rid of this one. Okay, so now what we're gonna do guys is the ground wire coming from here, right? We're gonna run it and it's gonna go into the dimmer switch right there. So I'm gonna strip this and I'm gonna attach it. Okay, we're just gonna do that for now. Like I'm trying to do this in steps so you guys can follow along. So that is the ground wire coming from the bolt. It goes on the uh, in to the negative. So we're gonna hook that up there. Okay, people that have made it this far into the video, we're down to the last two wires. So yeah, see I got it hooked up just the way I said I was gonna have it hooked up. That is a ground going in right from the bolt. So now two wires left. So I have made two wires of equal length, connectors on one end and bare wires on the other end. I'm gonna show you where to hook those up and explain to you what's happening now. Okay, so now on this box, so we got two of them, right? Um, so we're gonna hook up one to the same terminal as the negative going in, get it? So this will just travel and then just travel into this wire, get it? So we're gonna hook up one there and then the other negative wire, we're gonna hook it up to this one, get it? And that, is gonna basically, the negative is gonna travel from, from this brown wire. It's gonna go in here um, and it's gonna go through the dimmer switch, right? And it's gonna come out resisted to dim, right? Um, that's what we'll call it. Anyways, so yeah, that will get hooked up there. So I'm gonna hook these two up and then I will just show you how to hook these into the relay and explain to you what it does there. And it should work, I really hope it does. Okay guys, we are down to the last wire. So the way we got this set up now is when we turn our ignition on, right? That power wire that goes to the battery, uh, you know, powers up because that relay turns it on, right? And it goes uh, into, into here and then it comes out and that goes directly into that light and to that light. So they, they get positives as soon as you turn your key on. When you turn your key off, they no longer get a positive, so they will turn off. So now the negative, right? So we have a negative coming off of here, right? And we got it going into this. So what we want is we want this negative to go into these lights, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this into the relay, into this relay here, because remember, let me show you on the side here. Okay, I got a good light of it. So anyways, we got Number 30, right? That's the negative that goes to both of these lights, right? So what we're gonna do is 87A, we are gonna plug in, right? We're gonna plug in this wire right here, which has a neg negative in it right now, right? Um, 
because it just goes off the body into there and then back into here. So we're gonna plug this into 87A, right? And then that will travel through here, go into 30 and the lights will get ground. So the halos will be on full brightness bypassing the dimmer switch. Because remember what I told you, the positives don't restrict. It's the negative that restricts going through. Get it? And then the second we turn our lights on, so we, we hit the light switch, right? The lights turn on. Now electricity uh, is gonna go into the electromagnet in this switch, right? Because we got it hooked up to 85. Um, and then it's gonna click it over to 87, right? And what we're gonna do is into 87, we are gonna hook up this wire here. See the negative going through the switch. So that way, whatever this gauge is set at, the lights will dim. Does that make sense? I don't know how else I could explain this. This was pretty difficult of a video to make, so you better give me a like. But I'm gonna plug it in just the way I said I'm gonna do it right now, and we're gonna test it, guys. Remember, throw me a like and a subscription. I rewired this whole convertible roof using relays just like that, bypassing the computer. You should check that out. Also, I got the best manual swap series on the internet on one of these cars. Extremely, extremely detailed, tons of episodes, lots of videos. Look at this cool spoiler, guys. I got videos on that. Check out the front end. Got some incredible spoiler situation going on here. If you want to know where to get this stuff and how to fix a completely destroyed car and make it brand new again, subscribe to my channel. Okay, I'm going to hook that up and let's try this out. Okay, guys. Um, I'm about to try it. So if it works, I'm just going to clean up all the wires and make everything beautiful. But uh, I'm going to quickly try it out. Then I'm going to back the car out and like show you the difference like outside in the dark. But let's just see if it works first. Okay guys, I'm turning on the ignition. Let's see if they turn on. There we go, look at that. Full brightness. I got the, the gauge less than half. Let's see what happens when we turn on those lights. Ready? So you can turn on just your fog lights, cruise around like that. And then if you want to turn your nighttime lights on. Oh yeah, look at that guys, totally dim. Now it's running through the dimmer. Let's turn them back off. See, now they get nice and bright. Perfect. You can hear those relays working. And then when you turn your high beams on, let's see what happens. Yeah, it just remains the same, see? Then when you turn them off, beauty. Totally works. Let's back it out and see what it looks like outside. Well, first I'm gonna clean up all these wires and make it look mwah. Okay guys, it is pitch black outside. Um, obviously these halos are way too bright to have them on at nighttime when you're driving. Uh, so you would have to hook them up in a way so they turn off at nighttime when you're driving. But in our case, you don't have to do that because they dim like a brand new car. Okay, I'm gonna show you how incredible this works. Obviously that's too bright. Let's turn on the lights. You can still see the halos. They look beautiful, but they're not blinding anybody, guys. Also, I'm gonna update the light bulbs to LED ones. Check that video out. Throw me a subscription. Till next time, everybody.